Hello and welcome, I'm Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well and having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up this thing. Eee! This will be a tip jar so that when you get This is a tips, test donation for $75, oh, oh. It will drop the tips into the jar and you can get a visual representation of all of the tips and follows and bits and all sorts of things that happen in your stream. It's a really good way of acknowledging the tips and donations and things like that. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set it up on OBS Studio, on Streamlabs OBS. But you can also set this up on XSplit. You can set it up on OBS Live. And oh my God, how long am I going to have to hold this for? <laughs> If you find this useful, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. Come check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine data. And um, now I'm going to go so that I can drop this glass. Let's get into the video. <laughs> First thing you're going to need to do is visit streamlabs.com. You'll need to set up an account if you don't already have a Streamlabs account. But you can log in with your Twitch credentials, your YouTube gaming credentials, your Facebook gaming credentials. It'll recognize you. It'll bring in all your details. It's a really straightforward process to do. You'll need to press the authorize button when you link your account to Streamlabs. It'll just prompt you for this. And that'll just mean that actually Streamlabs can read when you're getting donations and things like that, follows and all that kind of stuff. So once you've done that, we need to navigate to all widgets and we need to look for the jar. Or you can just search for jar here, tip jar settings and click on that. And it'll take you to the settings page on a web browser. Now, if you're streaming through Streamlabs OBS, there is a different way to set this up. And I will briefly show that. But if you're not on Streamlabs OBS, you will need to do it through the web browser as I'm showing you right now. So what we've got here is a browser URL, which will add a browser source. We can copy this link once we've done all of the settings and click save settings. All we're going to do now is just configure what we want the jar to look like, how we want it to act, and a few little bits and pieces. Just the thing to note here, here is where you can empty the jar. So if the jar gets too full, you just need to click this top right hand button here. If you want to change these tips down at the bottom here, you can also just click off them and it will reset them to default as well. Choose first of all, which events we want to enable an animation for on the tip jar. So do we want tips, follows, bits and cheers, twitch subs and resubs. You can check these on and off for whichever you want to happen and not. I probably recommend not having them for the follows. Tip jar is kind of a monetary thing and not a follow thing, but you may feel otherwise. Maybe you might want to set up a follow jar, in which case then it would make sense to turn that on and maybe turn these off. Once you've done that, we just need to select the image that we want. Now, there are a load of default images here, but you can enable custom CSS, which means you're able to essentially create a custom version of the tip jar. Say, for example, if you've got a specific style that you want to add to your stream, colors and things like that. You can have JavaScript, CSS, HTML. I'm going to disable this for now because I'm no tech nerd. I do not know how to do all CSS stuff. So for now, I'm just going to go with the default one. I'll probably go with the whiskey jar because I like whiskey, but it's pretty cool that they've got some Christmas themed ones and they've also got like a, I don't know what you call these things, but when the, the coin drops into the, into the thing. So now we've got the option to allow or disallow the text. So that just shows the text on the tip when it's received. You may prefer to not have the text show. I'm going to leave that checked for now. Now we look at the font. I probably would recommend changing the font just to make it look a little bit less standardized. You can also now choose the text color as well, just to match your brand a little bit more. This is if you've allowed the text to be shown, of course. Now I can look at font size. I'll just make this a little bit bigger. We now have the option whether or not we want to set a minimum dollar value or a minimum bits value to activate the animation. Say, for example, if you wanted to avoid it from animating, if you were just getting the single bit, and that can just avoid spamming and things like that. Probably I would recommend setting this at 10 bits and $1, but obviously this is all personal preference. We can ignore background color, and here's the point that we actually can select an image or video file for followers, for tips tips over zero, tips over $3, and tips over $20. I think that these apply to bits as well. I think as standard, it would use the Twitch bits icons and then the coins as standard here, but you could change these images. Maybe you might want to have like sheep fall into the jar or cows and sheep, or if someone donates $20, you might want to have like pigs or something. I don't, I don't know. You do what you want, okay? I don't know your branding. I'm going to leave it as standard for now, but you may just want to note here that using a PNG file is what you need to upload this on. The PNG files just allow transparency to be shown as well in case you didn't want a square block dropping down. So if you save something with transparency as a PNG, that will cut out the transparency and it'll just show whatever's behind it. So we're going to click save settings on that. We'll get a confirmation that the settings are saved and I'm going to copy this browser URL to my clipboard. So that's now copied to my clipboard. If I'm not 
using Streamlabs OBS, it would be that link that I would add as a browser source to your OBS Studio, to your XSplit or whatever it is that you're using. And that will just pull in the browser data from Streamlabs Online using the stream key, which is actually contained within the widget URL. If you are using Streamlabs OBS, you can simply click on the plus icon on sources. And rather than pasting a browser source URL here, in this section here. What we're gonna do instead is click the plus icon here and we're just gonna select the jar. And this is because within Streamlabs OBS, it has integrated widgets and themes. And that's obviously one of the benefits of using Streamlabs OBS. So I'm gonna click on the jar. I'm gonna add this. We can name it if we want. Now this has already pulled in all of the settings that I've already applied there, but you do have the option here to change the settings within Streamlabs OBS in case you wanted to do it there, including the font settings, the images. When I click OK on that, that will add itself to Streamlabs OBS, and I can now resize and place that jar wherever I want. If I now go back into the online browser and just click empty jar, you'll see the jar empties. And now I'm just gonna do a test tip And there you go, we can see $12, the amount was over $3, and there it's gone for the silver coins instead of the other coins. And we're just going to do a quick test on the cheers and the bits. It's the actual cheer icon that's used here, rather than the coins themselves. Finally, I'm just going to do a test follow, just to see what this looks like. It actually drops the icon of the person that's following. It's the profile picture, which I think is quite a cool touch to add, actually. So that's how you add it into Streamlabs OBS. If you're on OBS Studio, and I'm actually recording with OBS Studio here, hence the reason why you're seeing 40,000 versions of me. Instead of here, what you do is you look on the sources section, you click the plus icon. We want to be selecting browser. We can name the browser source here. Click OK on that. And now all we do is paste that browser URL that we copied earlier into this section here. Once I click OK on that, We'll see that the tip jar appears. And the same thing applies here. We can empty the jar and then we can also test, say, for example, with a subscription. There you go. In this case, it actually drops in for the subscriptions what the subscribers sub level badge. So, for example, if they're on a level three or a six months or whatever streak, then it will drop in the badge if you have those badges on your stream. So there you have it, how you can easily set up the tip jar on your stream. Let me know how you get on with this. Let me know if you have any problems with it. Let me know any new ideas you've got with this. Don't forget to smash, sma yeah, smash the like button. Is that what the YouTube, smash the like button. Whatever. See you later. Have a great day. Man, the odds are really not stacking up. Lick me. Fernsey.